Welcome to Eat Place Stay Toronto. Get ready for a culinary and cultural tour of your next vacation destination. Toronto is the capital city of Ontario, with a total population of 2.93 million people. It's also known as the City of Neighbourhoods, 140 to be exact, each with their own multicultural identity. The city welcomes 43 million visitors annually, and if you're spending more than a night, there are plenty of hotels around the area including the Delta and the Fairmont Royal York. After you settle in, drop by Casa Loma for an experience like no other. The castle was built in 1910 by Sir Henry Pellet, uh, who was a financier and was actually responsible for 25% of Canada's economy. And he was responsible for bringing electricity to Toronto. Wow, how does it feel for you to come to work on a daily basis and to walk through and to live through history? Well, it's an incredible experience because you, you see the past, you see the history and, and how people have progressed and changed. So every day there's something new and novel and, and every day people are in, in amazement of having a castle in the center of the city. If you need a change in scenery, check out Ripley's Aquarium at the foot of the CN Tower. And why not shuffle back down to the shoreline of Lake Ontario afterwards for free skating? Okay, okay, I know, you're feeling peckish but still adventurous. Head to the St. Lawrence Market area and you'll be transported to North Africa at the Sultan's Tent. It's a whole experience, uh, the, the belly dancing, the music, the tent, the privacy, the intimacy. We want the people to come in and feel like they just did a little getaway, they, they just did a little trip. Just the 20 minute walk away is Old Toronto and you'll be able to sashay or segue around the historic distillery district. So the distillery district started back in 1832 as a grist mill, uh, basically making flour and then they transitioned to becoming a full functioning distillery and they ran until about 1990 and they became the largest distillery in the British Empire. Today there's many things you can see and do on site. So we have our Segway and walking tours, also shops, galleries, restaurants. If you are a foodie, this is the city for you. I've been hearing a whole lot about Rosalinda, so this is my last stop. We are a feel-good plant-based Mexican restaurant. Uh, we specialize in plant-based food. Whether you follow a vegan diet or you're just trying to eat less meat, it's uh, just very inviting to everyone. What makes Toronto a special city for you? You know, I came to Toronto in 2004 for a summer and I just fell in love with it. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Saskatchewan, so we only had two restaurants. So I can tie any kind of cuisine any time of the day. Uh, we have any major sports team here. We've got any major artist comes through here with the arts, the culture. It's just such an amazing city. Thank you so much, Jamie, for hosting us. Anytime. We'll definitely Thank be you. back. <laughs>